those Westlife boys were in this morning had a lovely talk to them they are you know the the, the charm of the Irish that phrase that is uh, used and they are very charming and it's always lovely to see them and very talented and of course very successful so Shane Mark Kean and Nikki and they talk about new album they talk about um, a tour next year they talk about the fact that all of them are dads now um, including uh, Mark of course he's got a little tiny newborn baby uh, so that's lovely and also they um, they featured all their children on the video for the new single as well so they talk about that so loads to come from Westlife this afternoon between now and three o'clock also uh, we've been talking about and one of us so after six years away from the spotlight Irish man band Westlife about used to be a boy band of course uh, they've got a new album out tomorrow they have got a massively busy weekend this weekend special performance tomorrow night for children in need uh, also they're doing Strictly Come Dancing at the Blackpool Tower Ballroom at the weekend um, Shane Mark Kean and Nikki met me this morning and this is how we started we hello very well. well how are you very well how are you very well thank you now we've been talking about or you've been talking about this I've been earwigging not quite in the Christmas spirit yet would that be right no. well it's just that we, we love Christmas so much that we don't want to spoil it by you know um, peaking we love soon. the build up I think the build up to Christmas is part of the excitement of Christmas you know? just don't Whereas overcook the turkey the build up, yeah the build up is sort of spoiled a little bit by the fact that everyone is full blown Christmas day mental like right now already you know before it's time um, so yeah I don't know I, I think you have I to have December I think you have to have December in your t you need to be in December to talk about see Christmas. I think as humans we ruin everything we <laughs> want it's like we want we love food we eat too much of it we love football we put it on seven nights a week we love rather than when we were kids it was on once a week Halloween now is a build up of three weeks with decorations and then mm. fit, as soon as the skeletons come down Santa Claus appears. It's like, uh, give us a little... And I love Christmas. Love it, but... Nicky, you sound, you sound a bit like the Grinch there, if you don't Yeah, yeah you do. You sound a bit... You sound a bit... Um, <laughs> you're a bit Grinchy. You just play this Christmas know, song a few minutes ago. Like There's really loads negative. of people listening to us, but the thing about it is, I mean... If you want to buy a Christmas present this year, Kim, what should they buy? Oh, Westlife Spectrum. Yeah! Oh, the new album. <laughs> or, I like the way you did that. Or, uh, Westlife Spectrum album and some tickets for I the know, tour next year. you ruined it now. You ruined it. You ruined it. Is this That's true? I brilliant. read this and I can't believe it. In August next year, you're going to do Wembley Stadium for the first time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. First time. Yeah. We've never played Wembley Stadium. Um, we've we've played kind of a lot of places and a lot of uh, arenas over the mm. years. Um, but Wembley Stadium was always something that was kind of that we hadn't done and we always wanted to do it. So when we came back, I think a year ago, we said, you know, we have to have a target of getting to Wembley Stadium sometime. But we didn't think it'd come this soon, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's here now and it's going to be it's going to be incredible. And other stadiums around the country as well. But Wembley's you know an interesting fact as well which is one. brilliant for us because we're, we're always quite an ambitious band but I think we're the only Irish band second to you two that have that will have done or go to do Wembley Stadium which is pretty really that's iconic. good yeah. So yeah, that's that's cool. Cool. exciting um so before Christmas obviously we've got children in need yes. now that's a biggie how mm -hmm. are you involved in that well, we're actually performing on the show on Friday tomorrow night, night. Uh, so that that's going to be great. Tomorrow night, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I forget what day of the week it is, you know. <laughs> it all roll into one thing, don't they? Um, you know, the Children in Need is such an amazing show. It's such an amazing kind of charity. Just to be involved in it is, is just really, really nice for us. Um, and, you know, if we can add anything to it, it it's going to be great. We're going to visit the projects today, actually, and, and meet some children that oh, it helps yeah. and stuff like that. So We're going to play just, football with them and basketball. Yeah, a bit of table, table tennis. Table tennis, hopefully, yeah. yeah you know, I, and I think, um, I think it's really important. Uh, I think it's a really important show in general just for the public, just to kind of like, you know, the everyday person is sitting in their house and to, to, to remember that there are so many people out there and so many children in this country that, that are genuinely in need and need help. And I think, you know, we all kind of get on with our daily lives and just move along. And not that you forget, but they're just not in your forefront of your mind. And I think uh, TV shows like Children Need really bring that bring that to the forefront of our minds and, and make us realise how lucky we are in our lives and to try and help others. How many children have you got, Kim? I have three children, three little boys. There's <laughs> ten children between the four yeah, of us. Three, three, and three and one. We're not doing too bad just so far. Oh, uh, what about your new baby, Mark? She's great. I mean, like, you know, it's, she's six weeks old now. Um, so it's very, very early stages. So, you know, we're adopting to the whole thing. Um, but, you know, it's, it was also kind of a long time coming. So we had prepared, 
you can only prepare so much as I now know um, but it's great like she's actually re a really great quiet chilled baby and um, <laughs> as chilled as a baby can oh, be oh that will change um, <laughs> and, yeah so uh, honestly um, there's you know uh, there's all sorts of advice and all sorts of everything which is all very much appreciated but you just kind of have to Figure yeah. it out. Figure it out by yourself. You know, figure it out yourself. You know. And Can we see her on the video of my blood? Um, well, so we made the video from my blood before she arrived into the world. But, yeah. Um, um, we did have time to squeeze a tiny little clip. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can't really. You can see her a little bit. No, you it's can't. kind of grainy. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you can see her. You can see her little face. Yeah. She um, needed to be included. So, well, for me, we were on the video set. You know, and obviously, like I've always loved being around all the lads' kids. They're so much fun and everything. And they're so cute and gorgeous and everything. But um. You know, I was like, oh, it's so close to when Leila's going to be born, but it's not quite close enough. And it's it's kind of strange or, or it's kind of a shame that she won't be in it. But luckily, as I say, timing wise, we were able to squeeze that little clip in at the end. And um, it was a lovely like little thing. I even showed my mum the video and it, I didn't tell her because she didn't expect the clip to be in because yeah. Leila was born for the video shoot. And then, you know, when she's seen it, she just burst out of the tears, you know, because she so was saying, I. oh, it's such a shame <laughs> that Leila wasn't born by the time, you know, and then all of a sudden she was there. So. So much more from those Westlife boys. Been very honest and open. It was great to meet them this morning. Phil Trow with us between three and six. So what have you got coming up? Good afternoon. Um, have you watched the adverts yet? No, I haven't. I know all about to Shane, Mark, Kian and Nikki. They are, of course, Westlife. New album out um, tomorrow. They've been very busy. You can see them on Children in Need tomorrow. You can see them on Strictly Come Dancing, performing at Blackpool Tower Ballroom on Sunday. Um, they told me though about the story behind their new song that I did play for you earlier it's called My Blood. With the lyrics of the song it's My Blood obviously what the song is about and stuff and the relationship between a parent and a child and what that relationship goes through throughout life and different things and we thought this is probably the one and only time we could have all our kids in a video and it makes sense and it's it's a nice thing for them they felt special on the day it was the first time we had all our children on a video shoot mm. so they were going this is crazy this is amazing um and for them to ha have that to look back at when they're older and stuff and hopefully show their kids someday it's a uh, it's a moment that you know you can only do probably once and it was the perfect song i think, think about it now yeah actually like, we actually say that out loud like if i if, if i had been in a, a video or any one of us had been in a video with our dads or moms when, showing we, your kids when we were yeah. no, we born or five it's or lifetime. seven or eleven and look back on it now that you, you'd never stop watching it you know just to look back on it's it it's wonderful you, so. i think it's a wonderful gift yeah, that you've given your children i don't children. think it's a decision we made lightly you know we thought about it and mm. we were kind of thinking we were very actually, it. Yeah. it took us quite a while to arrive at the point where we were okay with it and, and part of that process i think especially for the lads with the slightly older kids was making sure that they wanted to be in it as well you know um but it was natural and the particular song is probably the only song well, I don't know if it's the only song we'll ever release that that would be the right one to have them in but this is directly about the relationship between the parents and the kids and you know that plus the fact that the kids were up for it and it was just all right you know but we wouldn't be doing it on the next single or the single before that yeah it was, it was just, just a moment in a time moment. You know? I think it's absolutely wonderful Sunday night you're on Strictly Come Dancing aren't <laughs> yeah. you we are and what Nikki I mean you've got a background with Strictly haven't you yourself yeah I did Strictly when the band split in 2012 so mm. um we finished our uh, what well, was pretty much a world tour on the farewell tour back then from 11, 2011 right into summer of 2012 and I actually had been confirmed on Strictly in March 2012 privately with obviously the the BBC bosses but I didn't tell the lads because the band was splitting up and I wasn't going to be on until August September so nobody needed to know at that, at that point and I was, wasn't really allowed to tell anybody so went on it and yeah I did quite well I really enjoyed it I mean it's a life changing experience it's something that really takes over your life while you're on it and I always because I had the time and Westlife had ended that I could devote to I treated it as um, I trained in Dublin Monday to Thursday flew into the UK on a Thursday night or Friday morning then the show Saturday etc and then we go back home and I always I always really look at people like let's say Susanna Reid who had present you know mm -hmm. presents and and you know or as an actor who's on let's say um, EastEnders or something they have work during the day and then they have to do the dancing because I was training from half nine in the morning till 6 7 p.m. in the evening coming home absolutely shattered tired and yeah. um, to make sure that I had the steps and I had it right and uh, I really loved it and now I host uh, Dancing yeah. with the Stars uh, which is strictly uh, mm. in Ireland uh, so we're going into our fourth series in January so yeah so I, I kind of co-present that so yeah it's it's it never left my life since 2012 really and a uh, great show and, and now obviously getting to perform on it on, on Sunday night's gonna be amazing is it good to be back together is it good to be sitting here talking about a new album it is, it is you know I, I think I think for for all of us you know um, we had a, a big break away from Westlife and um, 
think throughout that break that's when you look back on it and kind of go you know we had something really special and um you know we were very lucky to be able to do what we've done in our lives and i think uh, getting a second chance to do it again and you know do it at the level that we're doing you know we've got the album coming out you are you know T t today, Friday? No, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Start again. <laughs> you don't even know what day it is. Sorry. It's Thursday, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit confused. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we got we got the album coming out tomorrow. We've got a, a tour next year. Like you said, you know, playing Wem Wembley Stadium for the first time in our career. It's just, you know, um, we're all, Nikki and Shane are 40, myself and Mark. I'm 41. All right, no need to dig it in. You know, it's just, it's just, a, it's Nikki just, a, no. mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, you know, it feels special. It feels like, you know, We've had we've been very lucky in our lives, and it's great to be doing it. And there's a lot of love for you, isn't there? There's a lot of love you know for what? my yeah. life. Without well, we a doubt, it. and it's and it's something Thank that you. we really we really felt, I think, over the years, and even when we were apart from each other, and how much people missed us and stuff. It was you really found it in every interview, no matter what we were doing individually. You know, Westlife became a question we got asked more and more and more because mm. people genuinely, I think, the fans especially, started to really miss us the last kind of two or three years before we came back so <laughs> when we came back then and obviously for the comeback tour the tickets like just went out the door it was unbelievable the reaction um and it kind of took us back a little bit you know we were kind of humbled a bit by it It was like wow this is this really means something to people you know and it was uh, it was a lot of happy faces on the tour so Aww. it's it's great to have that and hopefully we can you know become i suppose better as a band and this album we feel is definitely one of our best albums we've ever done musically we feel it's very i suppose fresh and kind of modern with 2019 is as best Westlife can be. Um, so yeah, the tour next year is obviously going to be amazing. It's going to be a brand new show. It's our first stadium tour, which is really cool. We've always wanted to do a stadium tour. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, on to bigger and better things. Well, it's fantastic to have you back.